So for the next step, we're gonna be mixing some powdered chemistry and some liquid chemistry. So just to be safe, uh, you should be required to wear both uh, eye goggles, uh, a dust mask, and then also surgical gloves so that uh, you can prevent any injuries due to the hazardous nature of some of the chemicals. Um, one is gonna be an acid, uh, another one is sodium citrate, which is a powder, and then just table salt. But just to be safe, we're gonna wear all of our protective gear and go ahead and start measuring each of those chemicals and start adding them to our albumin. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with um, some of our, our powder uh, chemicals. And so in order to use the scale, what you need to do is we're gonna use uh, a coffee filter as means of both containing the, the, the chemicals, but also to keep them from spilling um, and to protect the surface so that we don't contaminate and mix the chemicals with other chemicals. So we'll go ahead and place that on there first. And then in order to turn it on, hit the on button. That will help set it to zero with the, with the coffee filter already in place. Uh, otherwise, it would be adding the weight of that onto whatever chemicals we're gonna be using. So as we start with the salt, we need to measure 15 grams of salt. We're just using regular Morton salt. And so we'll just go ahead and pour this. until we get to 15 grams. So 14.679, and there's 15 grams. So we can go ahead and set that off to the side. So now we're gonna go ahead and start with the sodium citrate powder. We also need 15 grams of, of this. So we'll go ahead and start pouring that into our coffee filter. I'm going to try to go slowly. 13, 13, 7, 14, 15 grams. So those are the two powders that we need. Then we're also going to be needing some of the glycyl uh, acidic acid. Okay, now that we're done with our two powders, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our liquid, which is the glycyl acid. And we only need two milliliters of it, so we're gonna use a very small graduated cylinder, and we're only gonna just need these first two marks here. So, just very carefully, you're gonna to wanna to pour that in. And with the glycyl acid, it'll be easier if you pour out a little bit extra and then pour it back into the bottle to get it measured. Because it's such a small amount, it's really hard to just pour out only the two milliliters. And there's two. If any of the acid spilt, make sure you go ahead and clean that up right away. So now we just need 30 milliliters of distilled water and we'll have everything that we need to go ahead and start mixing up our albumin. So that's everything that we need. So what we'll do is we'll start combining it inside of the inside of our big container and then we'll go ahead and start to, to beat the egg whites. 